Hi, Count. Hello, Count. Ah, greetings, baby lemon cow. Hello, Daryl. How's it going, Daryl? <laughs> How's it going, baby lemon cow? Hi, Hi Felix. Felix. Hello. Hello, Goofy. Hi, Pluto. Hi, Mr. Rob. How are you doing? I'm doing well, baby lamb. I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Get it, baby lamb? Because you're a sheep. <laughs> Yeah, I got that cow. <laughs> so, kids, how was school today? Since when did you become our dad? What, just because I have curiosities about how school was for you guys, that automatically means I'm your dad? <laughs> I'm offended. Well, sorry. But seriously, how was school? Oh, school was great! I took a nap. Wow, they still have nap time at your school? No, I just fell asleep during class. Yeah, somehow the teacher didn't even notice. Well, good for you, Cal. Well, anyways, we got an assignment. Oh, cool. What's the assignment about? Well, basically, we have to write a report on someone we really admire. And I already know just who I'm going to write my report on. Charles Bluffenheimer, the inventor of the stuffed onion. Cal, why does everything you do have to be about stuffed onions? Hey, why would you just let you do you and me do me? Uh, okay then. Well, Cal already got his idea down on who he wants to write about, but I don't know who I want to write about. I'm kind of having trouble figuring out who I admire. Well, if you have to write about someone you admire, Baby Lamb, I know just the person. Really? Who? Well, let's just say someone uh, respectable, dependable, handsome, looks good in red, and can also pull off a mustache, too. Are you saying I should do my report on Mario? What? No, I'm talking about... <sighs> Forget it. I'm leaving. Well, I don't know who I'm going to write about, Cal. Hmm. Hey, maybe you can write about Mickey Mouse. I mean, people always associate you with him. Nah, that's too predictable. It has to be someone that I admire on a really, really, really personal level. But who? Well, why don't you just write about your uncle? My uncle? Yeah. I mean, he does take care of you, doesn't he? Well, yeah, he does. He takes great care of me. But I don't know if that's enough for me to write about, you know, why I admire him so much. Well, I'm sure you have a lot of stories about him that makes you admire him. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, Cal. Okay. I can write about my uncle. Hmm. I just need to figure out what makes him so admirable. Why don't you just ask him? No, I can't right now. He's busy working at the balloon factory. So, Baby Lem, how's the report coming along? Since when did you become my dad? What, just because I have curiosities about how you're doing with your report, that automatically means I'm your dad? <laughs> I'm offended. Well, sorry. But it's going good. I did write some stuff about him. Really? Like what? Well, I wrote that he, he takes great care of me. He looks good in a top hat, and, uh, that's pretty much it. Really, Baby Lamb? That's all you wrote about him? I'm working on it. It's just, well, it's just hard for me to summarize a person and everything that's great about them. Well, that's the problem, Baby Lamb. You're focusing on the stuff he does now. You should focus on what he did before. I mean, I did mention that he used to work in a company. No, for, nobody cares about that. What about the awesome stuff that he does? That's true. He does do a lot of awesome stuff. Like, I know he enjoys celebrating holidays at the wrong time of year. You're actually okay with, like, celebrating Christmas, like, six months early? Of course I'm okay with it. I mean, they gotta have their fun, and so do I. I mean, it's like my favorite time of the year. See? Your uncle knows how to bring holiday cheer even when there isn't a holiday. You know, Cal, I think one of the coolest things my uncle ever did for me was... You know, going through the trouble of helping us go to Disneyland. Oh yeah! He 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 hired someone to make a portal so that we can go all the way to Disneyland. Just like that. <gasps> oh my god! This is Disneyland! Mm -hmm. That's right, baby lamb. See? What did I tell you?
Yeah, that was really, really nice of him to do. I mean, even though he hates Disney, he wanted to make sure I had a great time at Disneyland. Yeah, that was really awesome of him. Oh, you know what else was awesome? The fact that he surprised me with my own car for my birthday. Even though I'm not old enough to drive. It was still really cool. Uh, when can I look? I, you can open them. <gasps> Whoa! That is awesome! I like to call it the Lambmobile. I designed it myself. And it has a lot of your friends in it as well. Whoa! This is awesome! This is really the best gift I've ever gotten! Oh yeah! How come we don't really use the Landmobile that much? I don't know. But anyways, those are all good points about my uncle. I guess I could write them down. Oh! Baby Lamb, I just had an idea. What? Maybe you can ask someone who personally knows your uncle, like someone who's friends with him. I mean, everyone in Capital City was, is like friends with my uncle. Yeah, but, hmm, maybe you could ask the Dark Slayer. The, 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 the Dark Slayer? Uh, didn't he try to kill us a few years ago and like take over Capital City? Yeah, but, you know, didn't he like change at the end? Oh yeah, he did. I don't know. Shouldn't we really ask him? Well, yeah. I mean, he knew your uncle since they were kids, so maybe he's got some interesting stories about your uncle. I guess it wouldn't hurt to try. But I don't even know where he lives. Doesn't he live in the sewer? I hear you guys are looking for the Dark Slayer. What do you want, Maxwell? Well, if you guys want to find him... I know exactly where he is. What are you saying? He lives in a really big mansion on the east side of Capital City, and he's like super rich now. Wait, what? Oh yeah, he's super rich now too. He gave me like $10,000, so now I don't have to con people anymore. Of course, I'm very irresponsible with money, so I'll probably blow it all in a week and then go back to conning people. But uh, yeah, that's where he lives. See ya. Well, that was strangely convenient. Well, if that's true, then I have to go see him myself. Catch you later, Cal. Good luck. Whoa! So this is the big mansion that Maxwell was talking about? Wow. Does the Dark Slayer really live here now? I guess there's only one way to find out. Yes? Hi, I just wanted to... Oh my god! Ah, baby lamb. What a pleasant surprise to see you. Oh my goodness. The Dark Slayer? Is... Is that really you? Oh, please. I don't go by that name anymore. It's a stupid name. My real name is Abraham Vincent the Fourth, But you can just simply call me Vincent. Um... Uh, okay, uh, Vincent. S but, so, how has things been since, uh... Since I tried to kill you and your friends and take over Capital City? Oh, that was so embarrassing. But I've changed since then. Yes, I can tell. You look completely different. I know. I've taken great care of myself. Uh, please, come in, come in. Um, okay. Whoa. How did you get so rich? Well, it's kind of a funny story, Baby Lamb. You see, ever since you, your friends, and your uncle helped me discover the error of my ways, I decided to give up trying to be a villain and instead use my mind to help make this town a better place. And so, I started investing. Investing? In what? Paper. Do you realize how many people in this town use paper? A lot. Exactly, and people use a lot of paper. So, I started investing in paper. So, every time paper is bought and used, I help plant a tree somewhere in the tri-state area. And so I'm helping to make this town a better place. Oh, and that's how you became rich? No, I started off very, 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 very broke. But, the city was so happy with my efforts to help make the world a better place and save the environment, that 
They awarded me with $50 million, some of which I've used to help put my son Johnson through college. Now he doesn't graduate for another two years, but I figured <laughs> might as well start early. By the way, how is Jonathan? Why aren't you asking me yourself? He's still here. Jonathan, come in here, we have company. I'm here, Dad. Baby Lamb is here. Oh, hi, Baby Lamb. No time, no see. J -j 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 Jonathan? Oh, you, last time I saw you, you were so small. Well, that's the thing about young boys, Baby Lamb. Eventually, they grow up. Wow. So, how have you been, Jonathan? I've been doing great. My dad's been taking such great care of me these past few years. That's correct. Ever since I got rich, I decided to retire early and spend time just taking care of Jonathan. He is such a wonderful young lad. Wow, that's really, that's really heartwarming. Okay, Dad. I have to go apply for a new internship. Great seeing you, baby lamb. All right. Be careful, Jonathan. <laughs> uh, these kids, they grow up so fast. So, baby lamb, what can I do for you? Uh, make you some hot cocoa, some cookies, give you a thousand dollars? Um, no thanks. Uh, it's just that, um, at school today, I was given a report on someone I admire, and I'm writing about my uncle. Cal suggested I come to you, you know, since you've known him since you were a kid. Maybe you can tell me some stories about him, something that can inspire me. Oh, you want to learn more about your uncle? Well, <laughs> that's, that shouldn't be a problem. Did you know your uncle was actually part of a motorcycle gang? Really? My uncle? A biker? Yep. I was just sitting down in the boardwalk, recovering from a massive tummy ache I had after eating too much ice cream. And all of a sudden, I saw your uncle pull up with his gang. And so, there they were. The Ram and Speeds. That's what they were called. Your uncle and his biker gang. Whoa! Raphael? Is that you? Ah, oh, really? Long time no see. I'd like you to meet my crew. See, we got Burly Ruffles, Rodrigo, Puny, and Dennis. And together we are the Ramen Speeds. Hey, old boss. So, what are you talking at this loser? Hey, he's no loser. He's my friend. <laughs> are you sure? Maybe we should rough him up a bit. Yeah, let's rough him up. No, no, no. Nobody's going to rough him up. We're bikers, not delinquents, okay? Well, gee, uh, gee, Raphael, uh, I never realized that this is who you are right now. Yeah, well, after dropping out of high school, you realize how much of an adventure life can be. So that's why I've been spending so much time with these guys. They're really awesome. Well, um, say, maybe since you're here, maybe we can get uh, something to eat. <laughs> Uh, I really wish I could, Vinny, but, uh, me and the guys already got something planned. But, uh, hey, try not to dedicate your life to becoming a villain, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Alright, catch you later. And just like that, the random speech drove off into the sunset. I had no idea my uncle was part of a biker gang. And what about those red stars that he and his gang were wearing? Is this supposed to be some kind of symbol, like rebel or love or something? No. You see, Baby Lamb, your uncle was young, just like you. And back then, he wasn't as wise as he is now. So, he liked to do a lot of his shopping at Macy's. Oh. Huh. That explains it. So, I wonder why he doesn't ride a motorcycle anymore. Well... I guess the reason's because he had something much more important in his life. Really? What's that? I believe that's a question you should probably ask him. Wow. Well, thanks, Dark Sl I mean, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Vincent. I think I know what to write about for my report. <laughs> Anytime. Come back and visit, Baby Lamb. Oh, I will. Thank you. Baby Lamb, I'm home. Hi, Uncle. Oh, hey, Baby Lamb. <laughs> Sorry I came home late. I have to do double shifts at the balloon factory today. Apparently some old guy wants a bunch of balloons so we can make his house fly. I'm not sure what he's going to do with that, but <laughs> whatever. Anyways, enough about me. Uh, how's your day been? Uh, 
it's been good. It's been good. Um, I went to see the the Dark Slate. I mean, a a, Vin, a Vincent. Oh yes, good old Vinny. <laughs> yeah, he really turned his life around after the movie. What movie? I don't know. So, uh, what did he what did he, what did he talk to you about? Well, I asked him about you, and um, he told me that you were in a biker gang. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yep, I remember. Yeah, but he also told me that eventually you gave up uh, uh, being in a biker gang. I asked him why, and he said it was because he had something more important in his life. What was that? Oh, baby lamb. <laughs> that answer is easy. It's you. What? I'm... The, I'm what's more important in your life, that you gave up being a biker? Well, yeah. I mean, it's fun and all, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta move on. You gotta be more responsible. Yeah, but being in the biker gang? It's so cool. And I realized that was the reason you stopped. I'm sorry, Uncle. Baby hey, Lamb, I chose to take care of you. And believe me, Sure, I've had a lot of adventures being with my biker gang and all. I still keep in touch with them. But you know, taking care of you has been the biggest adventure of all. You really mean that, Uncle? Of course I do. And my right now, my number one priority is making sure that you're happy, you're safe, and you know how much I care about you. And you know what, Uncle... That's why I admire you so much. Aw, oh, bring it here. Bring it here, Lammy. I love you, Uncle. I love you too, nephew. Aw. Oh. <laughs> so, why did you want to talk to the Dark Sway? I mean, so why did you talk to Vinny about me? Um, I'll let you know tomorrow after school. Uh. Okay, then, I guess. Well, I think I'm gonna go get some sleep. But, uh, thanks, baby lamb. <laughs> thanks, Uncle. Good night. Well, I mean, it's still technically light outside, but, yeah. Good night. <laughs> so, baby lamb, was the Dark Slayer able to tell you everything you need to know about your uncle? Yeah, but, you know, I think... I've been searching for the wrong thing when I wanted to write about what makes me admire my uncle. It's just the fact that he's probably the best caretaker I've ever had. Oh, that's so sweet, baby lamb. Yeah. It's always nice when you have someone looking out for you. <laughs> hey, wait for me! Get here.